Hi guys, how are you? Just thought I'd come on and show you another little hack of mine, which I love doing. Um, this time it's making your own shower gel. Um, shower gel was one of those things that I used to get really irritated skin and I just find myself getting all itchy and stuff. Um, part of it was to do with the washing powder I was using and the fabric conditioner, so I've switched that as well. But that's for another time. Um, today we're looking at shower gel. So I make up my own shower gel in one of these pumps um, that I just got off Amazon. It says squeaky clean on it, I don't know if that's the right way around. Um, but basically how I do it is I get this from Young Living and this is a bath and shower gel base. So it's completely unscented, nothing nasty in there that's gonna irritate your skin. But what's great about it is um, you can split it and make it into more. So I use half of this bottle into here and then I fill it with warm distilled water and shake it and mix it together. Then I add um, some Castile soap, which I got this on Amazon as well. This is amazing. It lasts forever. I've still got that much left and I've made so many different things like face wash, hand wash, really handy. Um, but you just use one teaspoon of that. You can add some oil in as well, like um, Jehovah oil if you wanted to. And then... The magic ingredient is 15 drops of essential oil so every time I make remake it I go for a different blend depending on what my mood is this time I'm gonna do orange bergamot that's kind of a new one for me and geranium just so it's like really fresh and florally to get you going in the morning um so yeah I love it absolutely love it this lasts me I'm trying to think because I barely ever top it up it is just me using it um it'll probably go down quicker when I move in with Mark finally. <laughs> um but I reckon I probably get like four months out of it. Because it's quite big. I don't know if it says it doesn't say how much, but I think it's about 500 mil. Um so yeah, yet another great way to switch out the toxins that are irritating you. Um obviously if you've got like a skin condition or something, you could add lavender, which is great for skin. Lavender and copaiba would be a great great blend in there um but as always i can help you with creating these things and how to do your oily hacks because obviously you can use it straight out of the bottle but why not get more out of it because it's so super concentrated um and it's more economical as well and better on your purse so you're winning <laughs> all right thanks guys see you later